Willkommen zurück zu Tales of Berseria. Ja, wir sind jetzt hier auf einer Insel gelandet. Und wie wir sehen, haben uns Piraten aufgehalten. Wir quatschen hier nochmal mit Dial. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Eifried's Pirates. Eifried is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Every sailor trembles at his name. For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Eifried is that tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His gang are all fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I'd get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well... It's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Eifried and his pirate crew. I guess. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even lizard, we all got our fantasies. Okay, also wir sollen den Piraten nicht vertrauen. Ja gut, aber im Moment bleibt uns ja nichts anderes übrig. Deswegen ab in die Höhle. Die Höhle! Okay. Scheint nicht so groß zu sein. Zumindest auf den ersten Blick. Wir gehen erst nach hinten. Wir gehen nach hinten durch. Okay. Was haben wir denn da schönes? Seegurken? Was ist das? I'll end this quick. Okay. See this? Okay. See this? Okay. Samen. Alles klar. Was für Samen? Come on, really? Okay. Was sind das? Skorpione? Sieht so aus, ne? Ja. Ih, Spinne! Spinne! Ich hasse Spinnen! Ih, geht! Die machen wir auf dem Rückweg. Kaputt! Oh, da steht sie. Don't waste my time. Come on, really? Don't get overconfident. Sorry to catch you down. Okay, dann gehen wir mal den Weg hier.
So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. I'll agree to those terms. But there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort costs the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails, I'll flip it to heads on my own. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <sighs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. Okay, neuer Titel. Herr von Erde und Wind. Okay, Eisen ist jetzt in unserer Party und äh, wir gucken einfach mal, ob wir ihm was ausrüsten können. Nicht wirklich viel besser. Nö. Okay. Dann wollen wir uns mal durch diese Höhle schlagen. Mal schauen, wie groß die ist. Viechern jetzt erstmal aus dem Weg. Ich hätte auch mal wieder Bock auf so eine Katzkiste. Bernsteinpapier. Mhm. Das müsste für den Kleinen hier sein, oder? Ja, aber es ist nicht besser. Okay, gehen wir erst nach Norden oder nach Osten? Okay. Look at all these vines. They're too tangled to cut through. I'm carrying some flint. Just burn through it. Do you really think this is a good place for us to start a fire? Normally, no. But we're also demons and Malakim. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not exactly normal ourselves. Okay, Ranken. 
Ranken verbrennen. Mit Hilfe von Zunder kannst du Ranken und andere Hindernisse anzünden, um deinen Weg frei zu machen. Du kannst auch Ranken auf Steinen verbrennen, um diese dann zu untersuchen. Lichte Ranken blockieren den Eingang der Höhle. Mit etwas Zunder kannst du dich vielleicht hindurchbrennen. Ja, super, aber wie benutze ich das? Okay. Wie benutze ich ein Zunder? Muss ich das ausrüsten? Oder was? Spezieller Piratenzunder. Ja, super. Und jetzt? Das muss ich doch irgendwie... Ah, okay. Okay. Alles klar. So, jetzt erst hier lang oder erst da lang? Ich glaube, ich gehe erst da hinten lang. Hm. Okay. Keine Ahnung, ob das jetzt die richtige Entscheidung war. Okay, jetzt ist die Frage, gehen wir erst nach links oder nach rechts? Ich glaube, ich gehe erstmal nach links. Vielleicht komme ich dann oben auf der anderen Seite wieder raus. The kid's awfully quiet. You think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two is always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. Same thing then. Not even remotely. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you all right, kid? Why didn't you say something? If Eisen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead. Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? <sighs> I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malakim have individual personalities. Just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malakim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. <sighs> Listen, gut, kid. If you're ever in trouble, speak kleine? up, okay? If I'm in... Trouble? Ja, als dass der Kleine sich wieder ein bisschen fängt. You said exorcists bind Malakim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time. And we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, 
were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malakim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons, but Malakim aren't mere objects. Malakim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Artorius is concerned, Malakim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. That's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. Okay, da oben ist ein Ausrufezeichen. Oh, ich sehe eine Katzkiste. Sehr geil. Wird es mal wieder Zeit, dass wir sowas finden? Uah. Okay, 35 und ich habe 164. Machen wir auf. Gut, da war jetzt erstmal nichts drin. Okay, hier komme ich nicht rüber, so wie es aussieht. Okay. Okay, hier ist zumindest mal ein Speicherpunkt. Das heißt, hier könnte ich richtig sein. Turtles! Turtles! Are you a turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the white turtles. Sorry about spooking you all. If you're not a demon, then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope. I'm just a plain old Toidles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me. But for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The Turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha! And that old white turtle shop! We believe the customer's smile is what matters most! That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high... Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, Cease. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um... I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. <laughs> much obliged! Okay, ein Turtles. Schauen wir mal, was er hat. Okay, Bernsteinbeutel. <lacht> Nö, da gefällt mir nichts. Nö. Okay, ich gehe mal noch schnell in den Abschnitt hier. Okay, hier geht's immer noch nicht raus. Gut, dann gehen wir nochmal eins zurück. 
speichere ich ab, mache einen Cut und dann sehen wir am nächsten Part, was es hier noch zu finden gibt in der Höhle. Also bis dahin. Bye, bye.